if everyone said it just a little more? Would the world be a better place? A nicer place? At MU Health, we're certain of one thing, that yes makes the world a healthier place. Yes is the strength to fight doubt, the fuel to find cures, and the unbreakable resolve to keep pushing further. At Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, yes isn't just changing lives, it's saving them. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday, November the 16th. Before you know it, Thanksgiving will be here. And we have a, a old friend of mine, <laughs> goes back many, many, many years, Melinda Lotvin. Good to have you here, Melinda. Hi, Paul. I'm and so reason, happy to be here. I, I say Thanksgiving because I've got a, a turkey gourd sitting right next to me here. <laughs> yes. And this is, you made this turkey gourd, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And this is in honor of uh, Fall Into Art. Yes. Which is taking place November the... Uh, 19th and 20th. Okay, this is the seventh year of Fall Into Art? Yes, the seventh year of Fall Into Art. Now, and the biggest year. The biggest and yeah. best year ever. Yeah. Yes, and absolutely. And the next year will be even bigger and That's better. That's right. That's but you're right. located where? Uh, at the Parkade Center on the Business Loop 70, Columbia, Missouri. And what will be going on at Fall Into Art? We have uh, 59 artists this year. We've really? even branched off into a new wing. We've got, uh, well, demonstrations and artists, fine art and fine craftsmen. Uh, How many? 59 artists 59 this artists. year. Ours. So are, are they all from Central Missouri or are they from the Midwest? Uh, I, you know, when I look at the list, I, it, they're, uh, I would say mid-Missouri okay. area. Okay. I, or, I, well, I, we have some, I'd say Missouri. Um, if we have some outside of Missouri, I, I didn't catch it, but yeah. uh, we have some in, in Missouri, but we've got jewelry and uh, fiber and ceramics. And gourds. And, and gourds. gourds. Oh, I've got this gourd. This is one of the biggest gourds I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you grew this gourd, right? No, I didn't grow you that didn't grow one. That one? one was grown in Pigott, Arkansas. So that okay. particular one was grown in Pigott, Arkansas. Is this so. gourd about as large as they come as far as gourds? Well, you get, get bu big bushel gourds. And mm -hmm. there is a gourd that actually, an African bushel gourd that they make a single boat, a single man boat out of. Wow. So gourds okay. can get real. Really big. Now the one I'm holding is probably about two and a half feet tall and maybe a foot wide and it's painted, you, you painted this as a turkey. Yes I did. Now will this be available at the Fall Into Art? Yes it will. All right. Yes, it so will. tell people uh, where and when the time and the place. Well it is uh, Fall Into Art. It is uh, November the 19th and the 20th and okay. it's 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, on Saturday and, and 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday. Okay. And it's also a fundraiser for the food bank. Oh. So we do a silent auction and we raise money for the food bank. And we've that's grown for us. We've raised, I think, 2000 maybe 3000 last year. So we Really? We've, Maybe two thousand. <laughs> okay, but the point is, so so part of the proceeds then. Well, we have a silent auction. Our artists will stick out a piece, and you can bid on that uh, uh -huh. piece, and that money goes to the food bank. Oh, nice! And then you can also make food bank donations. All right, so you raised about two thousand dollars last year. Maybe I think this so. year, <laughs> maybe this year it'll be three thousand dollars. Yes, yes. Melinda, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for having so me. So keep it in mind. Fall into art uh, this weekend, Parkade Plaza. Yes. Saturday and Sunday. Sunday, yeah. yes. Okay, and also a fundraiser for the food bank. Yes. Too. Now, if we mentioned that um, Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and if you're planning to do a lot of cooking, no, leave, leave the turkey here. <laughs> if you're planning to do a lot of cooking this uh, year, and you don't have all of the equipment that you need, and you don't want to go out and buy it, you realize now in Columbia, you can check it out, like yeah. going to the library, and checking out utensils that you need to prepare your meal. That's right. right. Yeah. I've got, um, <laughs> it's called a free kitchen library. This is really a neat idea. Uh, Sasha Goodnow and Sarah Goodnow Riley Len. That's right. Sisters, right? Mm -hmm. And you started this free kitchen library. Why? Well, actually, the idea came to me as I was cleaning out my kitchen, and I just had some really nice pieces that I thought other people might want to use. Uh -huh. and 
thought, what if there was some kind of like lending library where people could check these out? And I just went online, looked and saw what other people were doing in other cities. I actually emailed a couple of people that were doing it and just got their advice. And pretty much they said, find a place to store equipment and get some donations and just start it and go for it. So and what kind of a cooking or kitchen equipment do you have? It's we have, oh, sorry. Oh, we have, <laughs> after you. <laughs> uh, dehydrators and bread machines and yogurt makers and So food it's more processors. like specialized stuff mm -hmm. that maybe the you normal mixers? kitchen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got mixers? Mm -hmm. Dehydrators, yeah. bread making machines, mm -hmm. and you have the utensils that you need, like maybe big bowls. And we don't carry like things that, uh, that you would probably have in your own kitchen, like bowls or spoons or pots and pans. We don't have that. It's more something that maybe you're thinking you would want to try out a bread machine or a food dehydrator and you've never used it before or you don't want to spend the money to buy it in case you don't like it. So, so you just come to yep. the to the free kitchen library, which mm -hmm. is in Clover's. It's mm -hmm. at the Broadway location, Clover's Natural Market. And you check it out, there's no charge. That's mm -hmm. right. So what's the catch? There's gotta be some catch. There is no catch. It's there's completely no catch. free. Yeah, it's completely free to check out all of the equipment and there's a due date, uh, I think. Yeah, we give people one week and say, please return it clean and yeah. let us know what do you they thought of the have, product. Do they have to have like a library card to check this out? Not, not right now. We just started in July, so we're still just getting it rolling, but. I think just basic information, like yeah. your address and your name and your phone number, and then you can take whatever you want that same day out of Clover's and yeah. yeah. So people can just, I, I find this amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really very nice. Yeah. So you just go into Clover's Market right. on Broadway, Broadway mm -hmm. on Broadway. And where are you located in the store? In, in the back or? There's a chalkboard that has the list of all of our items and then they just go to the cashier and say. And just say, I, I want to check, check out, uh, yeah. I want to check out a bread maker and okay. I want to try it for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can just take that bread maker home and you make your bread and if it turns out good, <laughs> great. Yeah, if it doesn't, right. you don't tell anybody. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's yeah. neat, and it's yeah. all free of charge. It's all free of charge, and we're also taking donations. Of people have old kitchen equipment that they want to get rid of that still works well. We take it at either location. There's a Clovers on Forum and the Clovers on Broadway. Okay. So, yeah, we're open um, just nor normal business hours. So yeah. if somebody listening to us wants to make a donation of kitchen equipment, yeah. mm -hmm. Uh, you'll be more than happy to take it, and yeah. then you lend it out to people mm -hmm. at no charge. That's right. So what are you looking for as far as uh, kitchen equipment? Um, um, juicers would be good. Juicers? juicers? Has been a popular uh, item. Ice cream makers Ice cream makers. What about uh, blenders? You we, need blenders? Yeah, we don't have blenders yet. Okay. So if anybody's got any of those things, uh, what about crock pots? We have one crock pot. Okay, but you take some more crock pot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. For microwaves, that's pretty much. Uh, microwaves too? No, we no. Won't no, take no microwaves. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies. Thank you so much, and Thank best you. of luck. Don't Thank forget, you. there's no catch to it. It's free of charge. You just go check out the equipment, use it, and take it back. All right. We're out of time for today. Tomorrow, University Concert Series and the Salvation Army. Uh, drop me an email. Something you'd like to hear or see. Pepper P. Missouri. Edu. Bye bye.